Only on two, some trains like these are well past their prime, but because of money woes, Metra is forced to make do with a fleet of locomotives that is an average of 30 years old. Workers here on the south side do their best to keep them rolling. CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli live from the south loop overlooking the Metra tracks. Vince? Rob, Metra says it needs about $1.2 billion a year to keep the system up and running and in good repair. But in recent years, it's only been able to rely on about one-sixth of that each year. Today, we've got a rare behind-the-scenes look at how Metra says it's making do. These trains are approaching Metra platforms riders never see. Everything comes out that can be taken out, and it's all inspected and rebuilt. At the 47th Street Yard, aging locomotives are being stripped to their core and their engines overhauled. A lot of the replacement parts for it were very hard to find and starting to cost a lot of money to procure them. The price to locally rebuild just one engine is $1.5 million, and a third of Metra's 150 locomotive fleet could use it. How often will a locomotive go through this rebuild? You usually want to average it out about 10 years is what you look for. But because of budget shortfalls from Springfield, Metro has been stretching the rebuilds to 12 and even 14 years. After it gets broken in, it gets sent out and starts pulling cars. Pretty much the guts will get taken out and everything new will get put in. Sometimes a local overhaul is beyond Metro's capacity. These period components are proof of that. Is it technology from another era? Yes, this is technology from the 70s and 80s. In these cases, engines are sent to Georgia for $2.3 million rehab. They'll come back with computerized systems that can better diagnose maintenance issues. It has sensors on it that'll tell you that, hey, the engine may have a problem and you can catch the problem or it becomes a big problem on the road. Service Daily, Metra insists all its locomotives are safe, but postponing their overhaul dates comes at a price. And how does that impact performance then? It really impacts reliability. Reliability is the main thing. When you get into the up years in between overhaul cycles, both electrical components and mechanical components have more wear and tear on them and there's more of a chance of uh, failure. Obviously we're trying to um, get them overhauled as quick as we can, but um, there's only so much we can do. Now Metro points to its Metro Electric service as a success story. A significant amount of money was invested in that service a while ago when uh, times were different according to state budgets. And at that time, they were able to put the money into the system by self-propelled trains. Uh, they're high tech, they're uh, computerized, and they run quite swiftly and fastly and efficiently. In fact, they have a 98% rate of arriving on time. Something to keep in mind is that uh, you take time to catch your train on Home with Metro tonight. Reporting from the Roosevelt Bridge overlooking the Metro tracks, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News. Yeah, very interesting, that inside look there, Vince. Thanks.